of the book, giving a solution. We love to talk about the problem, to describe the problem on and on and on. Uh, but we're very, um, uh, we come up short when it comes to um, designing or uh, even thinking about solutions to our problem. So I devote uh, the majority of my book to describing a solution. If indeed we are addicted to a white value system, then we need to treat it like an addiction, like chemical addicts attend AA, NA um, with a 12-step program. So in response to that, I've developed a three-step program, a three-step what I call fellowship group that I'm encouraging all black people um, to um, uh, uh, institute in their own community um, around the world. Um, and hopefully that group, people coming together, uh, will help, we can help each other detoxify from, from these five white values that seem to have a stranglehold on our minds and therefore on our communities. The witness has answered the question, but he does not have a main speech. In Russia, I felt for the first time like a human, a full human being. No color prejudice like in Mississippi. No color prejudice like in Washington. It was the first time I felt like a human being. Where did I feel the pressure of color as I feel our communities. Um, at the end of the book, or near the end of the book, I give a fictional example of a person who developed a relapse prevention plan. Um, the reason that we need a relapse prevention plan is because everything around us, everything in society, supports these five uh, wicked values that I, um, once again, list in the book. So we need help. We need to develop a plan um, in order to not fall back into um, um, uh, reflecting these values in our behavior and in our work. And basically, that's the book in a nutshell. Why do you not stay in Russia? <coughs> Good question. Because my father was a slave, and my people died to build this country, and I am going to stay and have a part of it just like you, and no fascist-minded people will drive me from it. Is that clear? I am for peace with the Soviet Union, and I am for peace with China, and I am not for peace or friendship with the fascist Franco. And I am not for peace with the fascist Nazi Germans. I am for peace with peace and people. You are here because you are promoting a communist cause. I am here because I am opposing the neo-fascist cause which I see arising in these committees. Mm -hmm. You are like the Alien and Sedition Act. And Jefferson could be sitting here with Frederick Douglass could be sitting here. And Eugene Debs could be sitting here. Now what prejudice are you talking about? You were graduated from Rutgers, and you were graduated from the University of Pennsylvania. I remember seeing you play football at Lehigh. Yeah, and we beat Lehigh. <laughs> we had a lot of trouble with you. That is right. It was, it was Sosky was playing in my, in my team. There was no prejudice against you. Why did you not send your son to Rutgers? Just a moment. This is something that I challenge very deeply and very sincerely. That the success of a few Negroes, including myself or Jackie Robinson, can make up. And here is a study from Columbia University for seven hundred thousand, for seven hundred dollars a year, for thousands of Negro families in the South. My father was a slave, and I have cousins who are sharecroppers and I do not see my success in terms of myself. 
That is the reason my own success has not meant what it should mean. I have sacrificed literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for what I believe in. Different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many so many different mentalities that it, it, it seems hard. hard. It seems it challenging. seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Else is a challenge. Um, so, so I'm ready. For I'm ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. And mine is going to take on a task that most of us back away from. Back away from.